So God is a creation of man. And what happens? The moment you refer God to a human being, like we do to Krishna, Lord Krishna, Buddha, Jesus Christ, Muhammad, you are limiting God from its status of being omniscient, omnipresent, omnipotent, limiting it to a human being. And the human being, as I have discussed earlier, is never the absolute. It is relative. It has been separated into, the energy has been separated into male and female. It is fragmented. It's just an expression of the of the pure absolute in totality. And this is not in totality. So, agreed, these personal gods or these human gods were of higher consciousness. They were messengers to impart and communicate their higher knowledge to others. But you cannot refer to them as God. They were higher of higher consciousness, like I said earlier. You you cannot have a proper noun to it. You cannot you cannot name them with an identity. But the, what is the divine then? What is the meaning of God? Our sages said, Tattvam Asi, thou art that. Our sages said, Shivoham, you are that Shiva. There is no God outside. God is inside you. Now why is God inside you? It's because of you that God exists. It's because of you that the universe exists. It's because of you the world exists. It's because of you everything exists. If you were not there, if that Aham was not there, if that Aham Brahmasmi was not there, if that Aham I, if that Shivoham, Shivoham, that I was not there, the universe is not there. So you are that potential divine hidden within you which you have to experience and realize through your phenomenal profound mind. It's the sad part is the mind belongs to you but you are being used by it. Instead of using the mind you are being used by it. So spiritualism is the subject which teaches you on this supreme energy which you refer to as God. It just flows. It's a free-flowing, free energy called Parabrahman, called Antaratma. It flows in everybody, in every person. It's just that we are ignorant about it. And that is why it remains asleep in the mind. It remains dormant and passive in the mind. Why? Because you're not aware of it. You do not know what the actual spirit is all about. It is God is pure spirit in total awareness. Now how does it reveal itself? It reveals itself in the flowing of divinity within you. From your acts of divine deeds, good deeds in the form of love, in the form of humility, sensitivity for everybody as one and not two. When you treat everybody as one, from an ant to a tree, to a leaf, to a crumpled piece of paper with respect because everything is energy. Everything is one and not two. Everything ultimately is non-dual and not dual. And, and if that is that feeling and if that is the flow of divinity as it increases, you start going towards that divine. Of course, the divine is within you so your body and mind can never become the divine. It can just have the divinity to flow in that supreme energy until, until it disperses into the universe, back into that supreme energy. And this is what, how God, Ishvara, supreme energy, pure consciousness, total awareness, Paratma and Paramatma and Parabrahman are all one and the same. Personal gods are those gods of higher consciousness and once if you realize and if everybody realizes that, I am sure there will be less killings and less abuses and less differences between Hindu, Christians, Muslims and everybody. And we will all 
respect each other with grace and respect thank you namaste